Hey guys, welcome to The Daily Devo. I'm Brent, and today I simply want to encourage you to pray. In Matthew 6, 6, I want you to look at what Jesus says. Uh, He says, But when you pray, go away by yourself, shut the door behind you, and pray to your Father in private. Then your Father who sees everything will reward you. Y'all, in this passage, Jesus is having a conversation with his disciples, and he's teaching them about the importance of prayer. You see, there were religious leaders at the time who were praying publicly, but not because they were being sincere, but because they wanted to be seen. As a result, Jesus gives his disciples specific instructions on how to pray. Not because he was trying to manage their style of prayer, but watch this, he was trying to shape their heart around prayer. What I find to be very interesting about this passage is that Jesus does this with his disciples uh, to encourage them to make prayer a priority in their lives. You see, in a culture that's very fast-paced, it can be quite easy to skip over prayer. That's why I believe that our prayer life cannot be passive, but it must be intentional. One of the things that I find to be interesting about Jesus is that he's 100% God, he's 100% divine, but yet there are moments in Scripture that show him pulling away from the crowd, even pulling away from ministry, simply to go pray. You see, if Jesus, who turned water into wine, made blinded eyes see, raised people from the dead, modeled for us not only a lifestyle of prayer, but also illustrates the necessity of prayer, why aren't some of us following his lead? You see, today I want to challenge you. Put prayer in your calendar. Find time in the day to converse with Jesus. And for some of you, that could mean journaling. For others, it could mean praying out loud. And for others, it could mean going on a prayer walk. The style of prayer isn't what's important. But your posture about prayer, your heart behind prayer, that's what's important. Together, let's make prayer a priority in our lives.